and as many world economies seek to end their reliance on the decades-old global currency system, China is calling for change. Chinese Central Bank Governor Zhou Xiaotuan has proposed a new global currency without sovereignty to replace the dollar. In a paper published before the G20 London summit, Zhou Xiaotuan called, called for reduced dominance of a few currencies in international trade and finance. He points out that moving out to a reserve currency that belongs to no individual country would make it easier for all nations to manage their economies better. Zhou Xiaotuan says establishing a new and widely accepted reserve currency with a stable valuation benchmark may take a long time and in the short term the use of special drawing rights or SDRs should be expended. And China's calls for global financial and currency reforms have attracted the world's attention and gained support from some countries and financial institutions. The International Monetary Fund says China's suggestion for a new reserve currency is reasonable. The financial crisis has stimulated people's interest in this topic. I think that uh, uh, the discussion about a new currency is a discussion which is absolutely legitimate and uh, probably will take place in the, in the coming month, but it's not a new thing. I mean, it has been discussed a lot in the past. Of course, the fact that we're in a crisis may renew the interest for this question, but uh, there's no reason to believe that uh, it can move very rapidly. An advisory body for financial and economic reforms under the United Nations also urged world leaders to give attention to creating a new reserve system to replace the current one relying on U.S. dollars. It said the current system has led to trade imbalance and U.S. mounting debt has broken market confidence and stability. China's suggestion is being echoed by some developing countries. Brazilian President Luiz Lula da Silva said this discussion to reform world currency is acceptable, adding that all new emerging market economies should agree to set up a new global reserve currency. Meanwhile, Argentina's central bank said the country supports China's proposal. It says in an increasingly diversified world, countries should not rely on a single currency. And because the position of the U.S. dollar has been weakened by the financial crisis, the world needs another option. Ji Tianxin, CCTV. Well, at the summit, uh, China has made the proposal to make uh, another currency, a uh, super sovereignty a currency to replace the dollar. Mm -hmm. It has been uh, accepted by many BRIC nations, but the U.S. is not so enthusiastic about the idea. So what's your take on that? <laughs> well, the U.S. and the European countries are not so ent enthusiastic about that, simply because U.S. dollars has been a major global reserve currency for the last 30 years, and you want to change them, it takes a long, long time. And mm. this time, Zhou Xiaotuan raised the issue, and uh, looks like he's focusing on the SDR, but still, SDR has been a weak uh, unit to be uh, reckoned with. So mm. I guess uh, in the long run, we need a new, say, supranational uh, reserve currencies, but in the shorter run, uh, there, there's a little choice that we can make. But do you think that the financial crisis has already weakened the status of dollar, the U.S. dollar? Definitely. Everybody agrees on that simply because the U.S. government has been acting pretty irresponsible, uh, irresponsibly. And remember that the U.S. government is, real, is basically accounting for a... Uh, he has to be, be uh, responsible for his own economy. So in rescuing, say, uh, GM companies and auto, auto industries and the banking industry in the U.S. is the foremost responsibility. That's why they're starting their printing machines. And to make matters worse, the uh, Federal Reserve has already used the quantitative easing method, which means that they print more money, more U.S. dollars. Will that exacerbate the situation? Definitely. Uh, I think this time they rate... They, the printing money in the amount of almost equal to the Chinese holding of U.S. government debt, and which is uh, more than a trillion U.S. dollars. So thinking about from a Chinese perspective that U.S. dollar is print, printing out in such a quantity easing amount. Mm. And of course, we don't see inflation now. But what about inflation in the future? 10% mm. inflation is going to eat 10% real value of the of the uh, uh, the debt that China had. Yeah, this is the reason why many critics are still saying that 
Well, now, it's, it's like that we are using the old methods to fill in the holes that we, we dig in the past. Yes. We borrow and spend, and we borrow more and spend yes. more. Do you think this will finally get to a situation that we cannot control? Uh, well, I hope so. It's, I hope it's not be to a situation we can... Or it's just a temporary thing. We will get uh, better. It, it certainly is a very... Uh, urgent situation that if you have the, the, the global reserve currency represented by the U.S. dollars, any of the U.S. governments is acting in a not respect, uh, responsible ways, then we're going to face that dilemma. So I guess the, uh, all other countries realize there's a need to change that. It's just at this moment, we need to agree among ourselves which are the potential, say, currencies we can use and the supranational currencies is our idea. But that's the to see going to happen in the long run. So, what do you think will be the ideal policies for Chinese uh, currency poli policy? Do well, you think it should further appreciate or depreciate? Uh, well, uh, let's let's distinguish between the exchange rate appreciation and the holding of international monetary assets. And currently, China should. Uh, I think hold less of the U.S. government bonds. That would, that if you increase more on the foreign reserve in yeah. U.S. government bonds. For the long-term consideration, we yes. should definitely be more safe with our own assets. And thank you, Professor Hall. Thank you for your insights. And that's the end of our discussion on the G20 for today. I'm Zoe in Beijing. Thanks for watching our program. Please tune, tune in tomorrow for more G20 updates. Goodbye from Beijing.